Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Alan right here. I hope everybody is doing okay today. As you see, today is my number, uh, my day number 13. 13 on exploring niche. And I'm gonna give my opinion, my first impression, my take on uh, Virgin Island Water by Creed. Oh my god, this is being reviewed to death. Everybody knows it, everybody loves it. Most of the fragrance community know what is this one, what, what is going on with this fragrance. And I have to say, uh, it's considered citrus and it was launched in 2007, created by Oliver Creed, sixth generation. Top notes on this one are bergamot, Jamaican lime, coconut, Sicilian mandarin, and the middle notes you have ginger, jasmine, uh, avisus, and lang elang. Base notes are uh, musk, white rum, and sugar cane. What a beautiful combination. I just want to drink something right now. Well, guys, uh, as you know, I've been sampling all these fragrance, and I have the sample of this beautiful fragrance right here. I got a lot of compliments today. Uh, I have to give that. Oh my God, it's been uh, crazy. Men and women asking, what are you wearing? What smells so good? You smell like... Uh, Piña colada? <laughs> I know, uh, at the first, when I, when you apply this fragrance, it got uh, this, uh, like, salty, lime, little bit margarita feel or taste to it, but then uh, it gets a complete different way. It goes away from the margarita feel, and then the coconut comes up, comes up, and start to give that feel like a piña colada smell. That's what I get, that's what I've been feeling all day long. Uh, as you know, uh, sometimes I apply in my shirts, today I apply in these parts on my on, on my wrist, a little bit on my chest, it was just, every time I was walking around, every time I was sniffing this smell, every time I have uh, that uh, sensation, that smell in that fragrance. And uh, I have to say projection, uh, it was to me, I could say I've been noticed or I was noticed for the people around to me today for about uh, five to six hours, which is good. I mean, uh, but everybody was asking me. Uh, I was I was leaving traces of my fragrance everywhere. I was turning on my job. Uh, every person that I came across, well, not everybody, right? I, I, I can lie. But uh, most of people that I came across with today, they was asking me what I was wearing, what it was that smell. And I, well, I, I really I really got amazed because, uh, you know, I've been here a lot of these fragrances compared to, uh, I'm gonna show you the ball right here, as I did yesterday with uh, Great Middle Sim Imperial and St. John Unforgivable. This right here. This beautiful fragrance doesn't cost more than 20 bucks. And at the first you apply it, this one and this one pretty much uh, share the same opening, the same type of feel, like a margarita and uh, salty and lemon type of scent. But, like I said, after maybe 20 minutes or less, this one take a complete away from the margarita type of feel, soury feel, and it becomes sweet. It becomes sweet and it starts to feel, like I said, like a piña colada type of scent. And I loved it because I, I don't drink, uh, I mean, uh, nothing with alcohol. I'm a quitter. I quit drinking a long time ago. I don't smoke either. But I have like uh, that type of vibe, like the scent, you know, the piña colada and the margarita here, not for the alcohol, more for the ingredients this type of beverage has. I mean, uh, but after all, the quality on this one, we know it's Creed and it's an how they perform. This one is Tommy Bahama, which is very known for you, very nice fragrance, but this is out the Cologne. So this one, you will have to apply it and reapply it a couple times. This one, don't do that mistake because you might gonna get drunk just from smelling this with the pina colada type of scent. So guys, 
today was a real nice experience. I can say this one can be weird for uh, people from 18 and up in uh, summer all the way. I don't see this one or this one be weird, uh, weird on the winter or fall, spring and summer. Great time to wear uh, this type of fragrance because it will give you that type of feel like you are walking around in a swimming pool full of people, beautiful girls around, uh, a lot of people having uh, a lot of fun and you are with your piña colada almost frozen in your hand enjoying it. That freshness and that kind of type of vibe of type of feel, that's what I get from this one. And like I said, this is my personal opinion. This is what I get on this one. Well, uh, longevity, like I said, oh my God, in, me, in my skin, it has been for more than eight hours and I still picking up, picking, picking up on this one. Very versatile, most for wear during the day. Prices on this one will be, uh, if you ch shop around, for $110 to $150 in discount places. Uh, I look for it on FragranceNet.com, eBay and Amazon. And, well, great, you know, after the margarita turns into piña colada, oh my god, it's just a lovely scent. Compliment getter all the way. People loved it, not only the girls, guys also enjoy it because it's a safe scent. It doesn't hit it doesn't hit you in the face. And like I said, it had that it has that sweetness type of scent to it. I mean, what can I say that you haven't heard yet about Virgin Island water? All of you, I mean, in the fragrance community and maybe some of you that don't belong to the fragrance community, you are just a normal person watching this video in this moment. Maybe you have heard a lot of this one and what what else can I say? I just going to I just want to apply a little bit to enjoy that opening. This is a splash splash sample. I just put a little bit there. And I'm gonna make a little bit a real quick shootout between Virgin Island Water and oh my god Tommy Bahama Sunbirds. It's very most known for uh, sun cells and birds, but I think this was changed last year. The bottle, and, and not the bottle, the, the box is changed. Now it's not solid blue like it used to be. The spray is pretty good. Yep. More like tequila type of vibe. Salty, lemon. I don't remember the notes on this one, but I mean, salt, lemon, tequila type of feel. Coconut. The coconut just come out and it turned it into a sweet fragrance. Very well made. Still picking up a little bit salt, lemon. Oh, the rum. Sugar cane. All that sweetness that it brings to my nose. Yeah, definitely, definitely try both for a summer fragrances. On this one, you will spend more than 100. On this one, less than 20. But both are very nice. But well, I'm talking, I, I'm giving my opinion on this one, right? Creed, oh my God, what can I say? Just say the name and I know all you get, all of you get high. <laughs> with Creed. <laughs> so guys, this is my take on uh, Virgin Island water. I'm not sure if when I get into Nietzsche, I'm gonna buy me this one, even though I've loved it, I get compliments, because I have this one already. And they, they're they not alike, 100%, but they share some uh, similitudes, similarities, whatever. <laughs> and I might get it, I might not, but I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish this bottle first. And like I like I said, they're not a uh, hundred percent alike because this is Eau de Cologne. This one will be gone faster on your skin. You must, we're talking about maybe two three hours maximum longevity projection poor. This is a monster, a beast. So guys, uh, this is my take on on day number thirteen on the House of Creed Virgin Island Water. 
I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, please comment below, subscribe if you haven't done it, and please, please do you a favor, keep on smelling good all the time. So this is Alan Rahir saying, see you tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. Thumbs up.